tasty. Right, now let's loot some of these shells. Pick up a load of this food because it doesn't weigh very much. Haven't got far to go back to my base anyways. There we go, we'll take those front shelves, we'll leave the rest for some other time. Check out these vending machines though. Just all original. Oh, there we go, look, some Dr. Salt. <laughs> and some Lucas Aid Orange. I'm going to take that pie. Actually, I want to go back in here. I nearly forgot. I've seen them earlier. There's a few crates hidden down in this bottom corner here. Oh, there we go, look. Got some M14 rifle ammo, tea bag and some tuna. Let's take those wooden planks. Oh, what's these? M16, lovely. And what's that? A katana. Get in. Let's get that equipped. Give me nailed bat, a bit of a break. Look at that. Get in. Decapitations galore. Right, let's have a look in this large building here. Big open space. A hinge on the floor there. Their marks on the floor. Never mind. A bit of food lying on the floor. Check the cupboards out. No special in there, really. Much in here? No. I think I've got enough medicine for now. There's no point looting them. Have a look in this bottom room, there's a few crates in here if I remember rightly. Yep. M16 tuna. We've already got an M16, I'll not, I'll not bother with another one. Some Garand ammo. Tea bag, tuna. Some coffee. As you might have seen there, there was only six slots shown for the box, but there was more than six things in it. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if that's how it's designed, but obviously you can only see things that are in the 7th to 8th to 9th position once you've actually took a few things out to start with, which is a bit strange. I think it's probably just a bug which they'll fix. Anyways, we've just climbed into bed. Quite a risky place to sleep, but it seemed quite safe outside. Calm, relaxing music there. It's almost enough, almost enough to send me to sleep, to be honest. Yeah, we go walk up. Let's have some food. Bit hungry there. There's my trash can. I forgot all about that. I haven't shown you my trash can, but anyways, let's show you how to open it in a tuna. If you don't already know. There you go. Tin open and tuna gives you an open tin of tuna. Just scroll down to the bottom of our inventory. See it there, open tin of tuna. Eat that. Lovely jubbly. Have a bit of pie for dessert. Eh? Let's pick up that M16. A few other things. Try and take it all back home, stock up to the max. Why not? I'm over in combat, but I haven't got too far to go. Nice clear street, that's what I like to see. Run into the tree there. It's all looking safe. Good, good. Let's 
get in and close the door. Let's start dumping all this stuff that we've just picked up. A couple of weapons cabinets here, a couple of things out of place so. Dump that gun in there, take the kettle out. Oh. Let's try and get all these in order instead of just throwing them all in willy nilly. got a melee weapon on so I can uh, use shift and click to drop everything in at once instead of having to click 20 odd times or 30 odd times or whatever as you can see there just don't do it with a gun in your hand at the moment otherwise you will alert all zombies in the surroundings to your presence not a good idea as you can see I'm just Dumping some stuff here. Let's show you how the bin works. The trash can. Food item and the trash can. And you just get the trash can back. So as you can see, I've basically thrown away an item. The only downside of this is, it is unrecoverable once you do it. But it is only really used for a, a last ditch situation to be honest. Because let's be fair, you wouldn't really want to throw anything at all away in this kind of situation just in case but if you do need to drop something to run away faster you have got that option now put some more weaponry stuff in here gonna run out of space quite quickly here Run down this end, see if I can drop some food in here. Oh Christ, there's still some stuff in here to pick up as well, man. Let's pick it all up and then we can sort it all out. It's really quite annoying how hardly anything is actually stacking at the moment. I think that's down to the different temperatures that the different foods are at. But obviously, again, that is going to be something that gets fixed in future updates. So we can all wait eagerly for that. Be able to manage your inventory a lot, lot easier. As you can see there, they're just cupcakes, but for some reason, them ones aren't stacking with those ones, but all those ones are stacking together. Never mind. crisps in there. See they're stacking. I don't know why they didn't stack in the first place and once they dropped into my inventory. If they're stacking once you put them somewhere else. Well them ones didn't stack. Let's get some tuna in there and some tea bags. Aye, why not some peas? some beans. It weights down to 91 there already. I still want to try and clean it up a bit more though, try and drop a bit more stuff. As you can see it's taken up almost half my day so far just doing this. but. Obviously it is one of those things that would have to be done. Adds a lot of realism to the game. It's quite therapeutic as well I find to be honest. Guess I'm just strange like that. Unless you all do it too, you can always post a comment and let us know. that one out of there, I'm sure I've got some stacked up. No, let's use it on these windows, that's what I want to do. I want to get some windows boarded up, let's get some nails out. Equip the hammer. 
Got the boards in my hand. I'm gonna greet it by some lovely loud noises and a progress bar. I've only got three planks of wood, so I can't even board this window up fully. It's gonna take 16 bits of wood just to do this one room. Then there's two windows in the bedroom and another one in the bathroom. I think I might have to use sheets at some point. Anyways, it's only 20 to 4. Let's get out while there's a bit of daylight remaining. Dropped a lot of me loot there, so let's go and get some more. Make me hide out sustainable for as long as possible. Pick up all this food off the floor here. Don't want to see that going to waste. Quite close to home, so I might as well grab a few things. Don't really need them though. Yeah, get the chocolate. Got some steak and stuff there, lovely. Some nine mil bullets. Oh, that's a bit off, isn't it? Oh, I'll have to get that fixed. Starting to get tired. Have a look in this upstairs kitchen. Shark near a zombie banging somewhere. Some revolver bullets. <coughs> Some revolver bullets, we'll grab them. Is he at this door? Tempter 6. It's gonna get dark soon. Don't know if I wish it. Oh, that one's locked. I was gonna say, I don't know if I should run that too far, really. Bugger it, we'll try these, see if I can get in here somewhere. No. Oh, these are. Uh, you can't get around the back of these ones. Jesus Christ, the security conscious around here, aren't they? Everybody locked the doors before they ran away from a zombie apocalypse, what's the point? Anyways, let's head to the Resident Evil Mansion. To be honest, I'm just thinking. It's probably not going to be the best idea to run around here at night. Whoa! Crap. Nearly dropped one there. It's going to be quite hard wandering around here for the first time at night. Obviously rooms that you haven't been in don't light up until you've been in them. And when it's night time it's even darker again. So it'll be a bit of a nightmare try trying to find your way around. Anyways, I'll do my best. We'll try and find a bedroom to sleep in before it gets too late. Oh, Alright, collidable doors. Lovely. My greatest enemy. Right after the zombies, that is, obviously. That's a dead end. I've got to close that door before we can carry on down the corridor. And that one. I think the stairs are up here, aren't they? Yep, we'll head upstairs. I've got a rough idea where the master bedroom is. Or what I like to think of as the master bedroom, anyways. Still just going quite blind, though, to be honest. Yep, it's getting very dark now. Oh, I think I found it. I think I'm there. Hallelujah. I found a bed for the night and only took us an hour and a half of wandering around the house. At least, if not longer than that. Anyways, when we get up, it should be a lot lighter 
it should be a lot easier to find our way out now that we've already been to a few rooms as well. Look, it's just changed the uh, status of me quest up the top there. It's now changed to use at least one sheet on a window. This is where me quest stops at the moment because it is waiting more commands to be added to the modern capabilities before I can continue and before the game finds out that you have actually used a bed sheet on a window or a plank of wood on a door or a window. So once um, added modern capabilities are in, the story will be progressing. And obviously by then we're going to have a lot more functions for NPCs as well. So obviously you're going to add those into your characters that you add into the game. Make them all different characters and have them all dif different traits and everything like that. So it should make it a lot more interesting. Anyways, we're just having to wander around the rest of the uh, mansion here. There we go, a nice room with loads of boxes in. We'll pick up those tea bags. Get those beans. Pick the oh, revolver, 9mm. I think I've already got both of those, haven't I? Sure, but we'll take the 9mm anyways. 